We them ninjas, we them ninjas, yeah. Chop it up like a blender, quick, fast, cut your grass, yeah. Chop it up like a blender, quick, fast, cut your grass, yeah. Chop it up like a blender, save it green, be the team. We gon' pull up on the scene, cut your grass by any means. It started out as just a dream, like big, like big, and now we the best in the city, like big, like big, and now we the best in the city. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Born from the ashes, I take care of my own. Torn down where assassins, you can't suffocate my spirit. Cause I'm the king of my own throne, my own throne. King of my own What's up, ninjas? What is up on this? What is it? What is it? Done for Tuesday. Hope all you ninjas are doing good on this beautiful Tuesday. Hey, actually, last time I was here, I think it was on a Tuesday also. It's weird. Anyway, guess where I'm at, ninjas? Guess where I'm at? The usual gas station. This is the Ninja Gas Station number 2.0. Refill up on Tiny, of course. I just drove. As you can see from here, a little bit, a little bit right over there, that blue building. That's right, that's right. I am at my dealership. Hey, what's really funny is... I just had a, a guy walk, you know, pull up his car. He's like, hey, I recognize you. I'm like, oh yeah? He's a real nice guy, actually. He's not, he said he's been watching uh, the videos for a while now. And, um, uh, you know, he was telling me he just got a uh, brand new belt-driven walk behind and it's a right. And I said, hey, they don't make those anymore. He goes, I know, they discontinued them the belt driven ones because they, you know they weren't selling them people are just not really trying to use belt driven anymore so he got a really good deal on it because it was brand new and i was like awesome man congrats and uh i was like you got your own little gig going he goes yeah i was like how many yards you got he goes ah, about eight yards or something it's from what i understood at least so that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool anyway ninjas what am i doing what am i doing well if you watch the last video hold up if you watch the last video then you know that I have said I'm gonna go pick up my new mower. But I don't know if you can tell in the mirror right there what I have with me, and that is the s -s 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 Spartan. That's right, ninjas, I brought the Spartan. So I sold the Spartan. So why would I do that? Um, I don't need it. Look, do I like the Spartan? I do. It's a great mower. Uh, the comfort is out of this world. Uh, they really go above and beyond to make their mowers very comfortable. It's got the 37 EFI Vanguard, you know, it's got the whole oil system shebang. You don't have to change the oil, but about every 500 hours. It's a great mower. It's got the, you know, LED lighting in the front. The cut quality on the Spartan is what a lot of people will notice and be the first thing that you actually point out. Is it bad? No, it's not bad at all. But is it, is it like an X mark or may, which I wouldn't even know what an X mark cuts like. Why did I even say that? But like, you know, is it like a scabber, right? Cause I've already told you ninjas what I think about scabbers. They have a phenomenal deck. You know, the velocity deck is just a, a really good deck. They did a good job. Um, no, it's not, you know, I'd be lying to you. Look, I just want to tell you something right up front. I don't care how much I like something, uh, whether it be a brand of mowers or trimmers or if I'm just reviewing something. And I could be a big fan of that company. But if it's crap, it's crap. And I will tell you that, okay? I just wanted to throw that out there. Regardless of what, whatever personal connection I may have with something or, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. I don't need 361s, so uh, I'm uh, parting ways with the Spartan. And I'm gonna pick up whatever I came here to pick up. I guess you ninjas will get to see. And the first thing you see, of course, is a bunch of black and yellow. <laughs> I was talking about the school buses. <laughs> anyway, I really, really enjoy visiting here. And you know how Michael was telling you guys Last time we did that video together when he dropped off my twills when he uh, brought them to me and we just met at the parking lot. Remember how he was telling me he's selling out of everything and he's running out of things? 
Remember how he always has mowers all the time out here? Where are they? So he wasn't lying. I mean, this guy is, this, this ninja is selling constantly mowers. As a lot of you ninjas know, I always try to take the opportunity when I have time to spend some time with him. Ask him some questions that you normally don't get to hear other dealers talk about. Um, so whatever comes to my mind, you know, maybe in the future, I'll actually let you ninjas know ahead of time when I'm meeting up with him. So that way you ninjas can go ahead and comment down below some of your questions that I may not be thinking of. So that way uh, we can really put him on the spot. But I like putting Michael on the on the spotlight, you know what I mean? Because uh, one, he's very knowledgeable and two, he doesn't care to share. He, he, you know, he doesn't care. It's not secretive of any kind of, you know, secret society in the background. You know, he, he will tell you what he knows right then and there, boom. And it is what it is, whether you like it or not. And I really like that about Michael. I went ahead and unloaded the Spartan and parked it right over there in the corner. That way I get that out of the way. Here's the 52, just like the one I got, 10-8. And a standard B. Remember, ninjas, a standard B is entry level, okay? Entry level, so you don't want to buy this and then be mowing 20 yards a day, six days a week. You, you might run into some issues. Goodbye, old Spartan. You've been a good mower. And there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. It's a good mower. I mean, it needs a good wash. I did not get a chance to do that. Michael! Hey, Nick. What's up, buddy? You. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. You know, I always enjoy spending time with you. I already dropped off something for you over there. Oh, hidden behind you the white go truck. You at it? Sure. <laughs> How you been? Doing wonderful. How's business? Business is busy. Yes? It's, uh, it's as fast as it can be with as little equipment as we have. Okay. I guess well, that's the best way to put it. I was telling the ninjas when I pulled up, there was not a truck here in any of this. I was like, look, usually you have mowers here. Michael, what's up? No, so this is usually lined up with mowers going out for the day. And we actually, this morning, I showed you a picture already. We had stacks of crates. Um, I had a truck back. here that, that came and picked up the empty return crates. 70 crates went back. That's basically what we've done in the last four to six weeks on mowers. Oh my gosh. And you'll see what we have for inventory now. Wow. Um, check out our Facebook page, Master Mower, and you'll see that picture. Go ahead and like, subscribe. All the used equipment gets posted there as well. Okay. Speaking of used equipment, are you, are you a Spartan dealer? We are no longer a Spartan dealer. Wait, wait, what? So we carried Spartan I did last, not know last that. year. I heard some rumors, but you know, I've never actually I've had this I've got a lot of phone calls this year asking if we're still a Spartan dealer, and the answer is no. We we got rid of Spartan last year in about October. But so you still take, wait, do you take, take trades of anything? We take trades in of everything. Oh, okay. Anything and everything. Okay. We'll service, repair, we'll work on all of it. So uh, here's uh, the SRT XD for you. Yeah. Needs a little wash and clean, but uh, you're going to be selling this? We'll run it through the shop, service it, clean it. It'll be ready to roll. Hey, Michael, just curious. What you going to ask for this? Uh, we'll be asking 8500 8500 ninjas. There you go. Perfectly good mower. So if any of them need it, yep. we'll have his information down out. below. Cool, man. Cool. So yeah, give us a little tour. You always give me a little tour. Hey, these are the new ZXTs. I saw you have a demo over there. Yep. The um, demo is up for sale. It's right at 50 hours. So mm -hmm. that's a 61 inch model and I'll have to get a price on it, but it's a good eight, $900 savings sure. over brand new. Um, and it really it's been demoed by about four or five people. Some of my regular customers sure. here that just had to have it, try it. Um, so that's the do you hours. have a lot of them? I see another one here. Do you have a lot of them in stock, or do they just kind of as they come? Okay, <laughs> the that's kind of a stupid question. So yeah, so the seventy two ZXTs are on back order. I do have orders in the sixty ones. I do have another one, a new in stock, and the demo unit to sell. Mm -hmm. I can get some sixty ones and fifty twos, but okay. seventy two just for whatever reason is extremely hard to get this year. I see the wheels on this one. Yep. You don't have the wheels on the demo, but no. I see the wheels on that one. But yeah, these are the wheels that fit the ZXT. So it's a twenty six by twelve. So there's two types of wheels for the. 61 ZXT? So, so there's two types of wheels you can put on the ZXT. Okay. This is the standard turf wheel. Okay. The other one that you guys may be more familiar with seeing is the dual wheel kit that you see on the 72 yeah. is that all terrain. You can run that as a single tire. Mm -hmm. The difference is that tire is only nine or nine and a half inches wide. So it becomes a very narrow tread pattern to run as a single tire for a machine of this size and weight. Oh, I see. Okay. Wow. Wow. So this one is a little bit wider, I guess. Yeah, it's wider. So you're going to have a little bit more of a, a lot more of a contact patch sure. for the ground. Sure. Um, and you do have to be careful with that, that all-terrain kit. Just, it's an aggressive tire. Okay. Before we keep, keep going, um, you mentioned you dropped Spartan. Why? 
seriously because the last i've talked to you 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 had so, a bunch of spartans so, so what's yeah, the deal we, we took on spartan and, and from, an a, question. from a quality perspective it's a well-built product okay the machine has and i feel the, the same kawasaki way kawasaki and vanguard engines mm -hmm. and it's got parker pumps like a lot of product does out there so it's not necessarily a component um issue there's a few things that came with it number one is a dealer it, it honestly it attracted the wrong type of customer for our location so we're a commercial store that brand is really a large acreage homeowner it does very well at a farmer ag type store that sells tractors but doesn't have a mower line mm. so you go to middle america and the average homeowner has a five acre yard spartan does phenomenally well bad boy does really well but you get into us being 99 percent commercial cutters and then the rest of our business is some acreage homeowners um, it's really hard for me to have a brand that I can't push the full lineup of product to any of my customer base. I was having to actually tell more people, no, you don't want to buy the product because it was not the right spec product for what they wanted. Yes. So it's, it's not great to have to have a product line in store where you're telling more people not to buy it than buy it. So we, we just kind of made the executive decision that it was in our best interest to, to split ways before we got too deep into the product. Gotcha. So basically to conclude it is it attracted more of homeowners than commercial businesses it attracted all homeowners and oh wow yeah i mean okay. all homeowners uh, we sold 50 mowers in about six months of spartan and i bet you two two of those guys were commercial so it just it's it's mainly an acreage homeowner product so again not a bad product just not the right fit for us gotcha okay so you dropped spartan first of all what the heck is a scabber doing here you're uh, not a scabber a dealer now are you no 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 but this is service so I was going to say, you become a scabber dealer, bro. We're going to we're gonna have to talk. We'll exchange words. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys will see, if you've seen other videos, how much inventory we normally have. These yes. are normally three high, two deep, I remember. all the way down. Yeah. Same thing. You can't see the building. And then we have rows of mowers behind the building, two, three truckloads worth. Okay. This has done service work behind the building because I have almost no new equipment back there. You weren't that's lying how, on that last time we met in the parking lot when you dropped off the tools for me. You were You were saying this might happen. Yeah, so it's it's uh, this is what I've got for right in crates and still got the and the, crates, and the okay. few are uh, assembled. So right. this is I always know it's right when it's wooden. Yeah, at least so for now. So Ed has made the change to go to returnable crates, and they're phasing it in because I'm getting I'm getting mixed shipments of crates. So it's like the last of the wood stuff's getting pushed out of the warehouse, and then some returnables are coming mixed in. So that's a huge plus. Okay. Um, go ahead. You go ahead. I was saying <laughs> this is all I got left in Ferris and new in in crates, eight units. Uh, okay. I got other stuff assembled, but so I was gonna actually say, uh, usually red is either Toro or Ferris because I know you're a big Toro mm -hmm. or Ferris dealer, uh, you know, as well. But what is this? What do you got going on here? So this is Encore. So Encore. We took on another brand for a couple of reasons. So One, drops Spartan and picks up Encore. Picks up Encore. Tell us about. And it. I'm sure you're, I'm gonna get blasted by certain people to say, <laughs> "Oh my God, why would you do that?" And the, re and the reason's simple, twofold. Number one, it's a distributor that I already do business with for Red Max and they have it in the warehouse so I can batch stuff for freight. It's simple. Okay. Number two, years ago, we were a world lawn dealer before I was involved in the business. So it's it's the same product, parts, that kind of thing. For Is it the same company? Same company. It is the same company. And okay. I'll explain all that. Okay. And the other factor is I took it on strategically only for certain models of mowers because it hits target price points. Mm -hmm. And there's always that need for a certain mower for certain jobs at a certain price point where you, you just can't budget justify a much more expensive unit. So this can be a really great natural fit. So he drops Spartan and picks up Encore. Amazing. And uh, you said the World Lawn is same as Encore. Do they still make World Lawns or no? Yeah, so they do. Okay. We gotta... Wow, look, there's so more back here. So all this is service work, and just these <laughs> few mowers against the building, the Ferris down. You got a few sit downs too up yeah, here. Yeah, is uh, new. So what Encore or World Lawn is? It's all one company. So the company is World Lawn, and then think of Encore as like a sub brand, just like General Motors has Chevrolet, GMC. It's just like that. Same product, different stickers, but the same same factory, same everything. So. Gotcha. A couple of engineers retired from Xmark somewhere around 30 years ago. Okay. When they retired, they moved across the street in Beatrice, Nebraska into the old original Xmark facility. And as part of their retirement plan, they, cre they did their second wind, their 
Encore. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay. That's how they got the name. Gotcha. That's where it came from. All right. About 10 years ago, uh, a Chinese billionaire purchased Encore. Mm -hmm. He is the owner of Worldmon. So Worldmon is a Chinese company, parent-owned company. So Worldmon is Chinese. Worldmon is Chinese. Okay. <clears throat> at the parent company. And that guy is a billionaire. He actually competes on a global scale with companies like John Deere. If you go to Europe, he builds combines and farming equipment that are in the two hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollar price point. Wow. And he actually is one of the leaders in farming equipment in other parts of the world. So as much as we may knock certain products that are not US built here in the country, you go in other parts of the world and he's a leader in the market. So Encore is a value proposition product. The two models I really push or stock are the edge. So this would be, call it that prosumer entry commercial unit. It's an FR Kawasaki engine. So yes, that's a residential engine, mm -hmm. but it has 3200 series hydro gear pumps. Okay. So it's a commercial okay. pump. It runs 10 miles an hour. It's an eight gauge steel deck, commercial spindles. And this is a 52 inch unit. And to give you an idea, this 52 has How a, th it's a three year unlimited hour commercial warranty across the Encore lineup. Other than a few Unlimited? Columns. Unlimited hours, three, year. three years. Five grand for this mower. What? So a lot of other brands, you would have to be at a much more expensive unit. Of course. I could take this same 52, upgrade the pumps from 3200s to 3400s and put an FX 23 horse Kawasaki on mm -hmm. it. And that unit, and that's the only two differences, the rest of the mower is the same, that unit I can sell for 61. Wow, the price is amazing. So man. you're going to save several thousand dollars. Wow. So this was one strategic Why move. is that? Is that just because of the name itself? So here's why. So we all keep hearing about these price increases of why mowers are going up in price in steel. So that's what I'm about to say. All the prices slowly are going up and you're now presenting us a mower that's reasonable. So what's right. going on? How can they do this? So the reason I brought this in is if you think about it, how many guys in the lawn care world, in your world, can raise your price? Hey, gas price went up, I gotta charge you five more bucks. You no. don't have that elasticity with your customer Not base. No. So at a certain point, you have to go, okay, when gas hits a certain price or this hits a certain, I gotta raise prices and you, you gotta figure out where can you cut or save, but you still need a certain quality. I'm trying to fill that niche for a lot of guys. Okay. So how do they do it? Yes. The price of steel in China has not changed. This is a US only effect. So in China, World Lawn, parent company, owns their own steel foundry. They make their own steel. What they do on these mowers is they manufacture the steel, they do the fabrication, the stamp, the uh, not the stamping, but the cutting of the steel, the welding of it, and the paint. So raw steel parts painted are shipped in containers from China to Nebraska, and then the mowers are actually built and assembled in Nebraska. So engineering, build, all that is done stateside, but they're just sourcing the steel parts because they own their own steel foundry. The owner of World Lawn through our distributor, he, he, they asked them point like, what's gonna happen with pricing? And he said, what? There's no steel in price increase in China. <laughs> Nothing's happened, nothing's changed. So, so whatever's going on here, COVID and everything else, yes, it's a real effect here, but sure. it's a created effect in this country somehow. Mm. So the first question that I think a lot of people will ask is now that you've mentioned Chinese, quality durability so the, the obviously the warranty is there to so back the warranty is there to back it up but what I've do you got, think personally I've i'm asking people, you so i've got customers that and i don't think any are here now that have some world lawns that they bought 10 12 years ago from us and they have well over 2500 hours on them the machine actually holds up so are you going to do a little more maintenance over the life of it yes yeah, so certain things for example the spindles you can change out the bearings and the spindles you, it's a $10 bearing from Napa. <laughs> Put a new bearing in it and you're rack and rolling. You're not having to change the whole spindle housing and assembly. So it's a different kind of maintenance to the machine than mm -hmm. other machines. And so from a cost factor standpoint, that's how you have to weigh it out. Or you have to weigh it out from the standpoint of, do I just buy it, run it three years of warranty or trade and sell it at that point and get a new one? Because if you're into something for five grand, at the end of three years, if you got half your money back, and you go into the next one for not much more money, yeah, it's a really good exchange. It's paid for itself. Okay, so this is a sit down. So I, I'm sit interested down. more into the stand ons. So Tell me about these Encore stand ons. So Which got, one do you want to look in at? A 32. So I got two sitting there. You got a little 32. Look at that. That is thinking so cute. We'll start out back here. <laughs> All right. So this is a 52. So on these, it's called the Rage model. Okay. And if you look at World Lawn, it's the Venom. But this unit has an S6K. 
Yeah, six what? grand. Three year unlimited hour warranty. Same specs as that I told you. Eight gauge still like it's an FX 730 Kawasaki mm. engine. 23.5 horsepower. And it's yep. got Parker pumps that'll run 10 miles an hour. Parker so pump. you have the Parker pumps, the Kawasaki engine, the frame, and the price point. So this same mower comparable uh would be comparable to like a ferris z2 a right stander x or even a skag v ride mm -hmm. and you're going to be more at a nine thousand dollar price point so if you're wow, getting started in the business difference. if you're a part-time cutter and like i said if you need that certain machine for certain accounts sure. and you can't justify nine grand here's a really great alternative and that is a dramatic difference michael that's we're not talking 1500 bucks or maybe three five, grand three grand man that's a lot of money a lot of guys have a problem justifying a seven or eight thousand dollar standard when it comes to the sure. small frame stuff sure and i understand that because most of the time you're just looking at backyards so if i'm just trying to get into a backyard and here so while you're playing with this mm -hmm. i'm just thinking this is a foot plate so think about this remember where i said encore came from encore world long came from the beginnings of Exmark. so what was the last the grandstand the vantage that foot plate folds up just like a grandstand or vanish, so you could walk behind it if you need to. The other thing is cut, everybody's gonna ask about. I was about to say, man, so first thing, right away, okay, price, yes, okay, you know, looks sharp, got, got a good motor, whatever. The deck and the cut quality, Michael, come on now. So what is it like? We all know the Chinese are the best at copying stuff, right? <laughs> They'll do as much as they can, as close as they can without violating a patent. Mm -hmm. This deck is basically a hybrid blend between a, a Turbo Force and an Ultra Cut. Take the Toro deck and the Xmark deck, and they've done as best as they can to copy as much as they can without violating a patent. Everybody that's bought one says it cuts like an X mark. And if I put a mulch kit on one, the mulch kit is almost an exact copycat baffle shape and everything. It's incredible. <laughs> oh my God. So you're saying it's like an X, it cuts like an X mark. It cuts just like an X mark. You gotta be kidding me, man. Let's oh. call it value engineered. <laughs> okay. So we got a little 32 here. So this is what I was saying. Guys have a lot of problem justifying spending seven grand or some or more on a, on a backyard mower in essence, for the most sure, part. Sure. So you take this, and this is somewhat cl close in spec to say a right standard B. It's the same FS600 engine, mm -hmm. but this actually has Parker pumps. It's an eight gauge deck. The only downfall, and I've given them some feedback back, is these are pneumatic tires, mm -hmm. rather, rather than flat free. But this in a 32 inch is $4,800, and the 36 inch is 5,000. So if you need a stand on and you need that small compact footprint, sure. you can get these at a phenomenal price point. Wow. I, I'm I'm blown away just by the prices you're throwing out here, man. I really am. So, a height adjust for the, the cut height. So that's very so similar. So it comes to factory just... set to this high range. So you just pick the high range. And then you... Yeah, I can't reach across and do it. Oh, they uh, flaps. They... Oh, oh well, just right, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> RC, come to the rescue. <laughs> me, me and looks Michael, like you, me like and Michael both out. are like, just push down. Like there it, it is. Yeah, so just pull up and push down. Yep. And I'll go. So, it's new. It's yeah, new. It's yeah. new, so it's tight. So you have a two and a half to a four and a half inch range. <laughs> if you really need to cut lower. To her, she's new and tight. Yes. <laughs> what were you saying? So <laughs> one, one feature that many guys have liked has okay. been the height of cut. Okay. So you can adjust the dial. That comes factory set to this top setting, but there is a low range. So if you need to go cut lower, one and a half to three and a half, there's one bolt that you can shift down on a rod down there. And it's just undo one bolt, move it to a different hole. And then you're in that low range. Oh. So you do have okay. kind of two settings here, but it'll get you all the way down to the one and a half mark. Amazing. I think more guys are prone to cut upwards of four, four and a half in the summertime sure, as needed. Sure, sure, sure. This is amazing. This, I mean, I'm really impressed, and uh, I have heard of the brand, but I've never I mean, really, yeah, I've never really looked at one up close or. So I'll gi I'll give you guys a heads up. The one complaint you may have is these small 32 and 36s. There there is no fuel gauge. I've brought that up. There's not a way to route it based on how the tank is set up. So that's a make sure it's full, <laughs> fill it up frequently. So that's on the good. 32 and 36 the only. On the fit on the 48s and larger 48 52 and 60 they have them. the actual fuel gauge is a digital fuel gauge with the hour meter question on the warranty um is it transferable for the uh, encore as, as far does it as, go to the new owner or is as it as far as i know the encore warranty is just three years from date of purchase regardless oh wow so it doesn't really matter how many people it, sh it shouldn't it. matter 
Save it green, be the team, we gon' pull up on the scene Cut your grass by any means, it started out as just a dream Like big, like biggie, now we the best in the city Like big, like biggie, now we the best in the city Pull up, pull up, pull up, save it green